Hi everyone, we're just getting ready for uh, filming uh, Worship at Home uh, for this Sunday. Uh, Tim Eckert's here behind the camera and I'm here and we've just had uh, Jeanette Lange and Colleen Bradke involved with the prayers and the Bible readings and I want to uh, welcome you to Church at Home for this weekend and I thought I'd have a few quick words with you before we start. Uh, how are you handling um, working at home, if you're still working at home, um, being uh, shut away somewhat? I'm not handling it that well. Uh, I like being with people and I'm looking forward to uh, moving my office from my home back to church in the next week or so. Uh, I guess all of us are looking forward to returning to worship together here at church. Uh, different churches are doing this in different ways, returning to worship and the Lord's Supper in different ways. Uh, at executive team last Tuesday night, we decided not to hurry things. Um, Hurrying back means, in the current state of affairs, uh, having a booking system uh, where only some of us can worship at a given time. Uh, we want everyone to be able to worship together and not just uh, a select few or the first ones to book in for a given Sunday or whatever. Uh, we want everyone to be worshipping together and having the Lord's Supper together together. So executive team last Tuesday night, uh, well, we decided to wait until a hundred people are permitted to worship together with appropriate square, uh, square meterage and social distancing per person. According to our calculations, that means that some 70 to 80 people can worship in here and in the overflow. Uh, so that would allow us to have our nine o'clock service, uh, finish at 10 o'clock, uh, have some disinfectant cleaning until about 25 past 10 and then have the 10.30 service. Also we would have to uh, sign in and out uh, as we attended church. Uh, Lord's Supper would also be able to happen but according to uh, the guidelines from the district we can only have one person preparing uh, the bread and the wine and that same person distributing, that person would have a mask on and uh, wear gloves. So that's the long and the short of it. Uh, what we thought uh, about resuming worship, we would wait until the government says 100 people can worship uh, in any given space. Um, our planned worship date, starting date, we thought uh, would be Sunday, July uh, the 19th. That's the... Um, last Sunday of the school holidays. That's what we're planning for. But of course, if the government says that we can have 100 people worshipping prior to that date, we'll start as soon as we uh, can. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know what uh, the executive team and the staff are thinking. Uh, if you've got different thoughts, please feed them in uh, to me or to Angeline or to Barb or, or Sharon. Uh, if you would like to have the Lord's Supper here in church um, earlier uh, during the week, uh, sing out too because that's possible. It's just that we're looking forward to um, a resumption when we all can gather together and all go to the Lord's Supper together. Um, God bless you as uh, you worship this morning and as we worship uh, this morning in different places, we look forward to the time when we'll be able to gather together in this one place uh, to worship our Lord. Uh, we look forward to worshipping together. Anyway, God bless you as you worship this morning and use the worship at home resources that we've provided. See ya.